What's going on everybody? Rob here, Trev2323, that's T-R-E-V-2323, subscribe, like, and share. You see I got my cheaters on today because man, my eyes are doing something, they're just going so bad. But right now, I got the System de DVD de Mobile, the uh, RCA double screen DVD player system. Alright, we're going to be going on vacation. And I got my grandbaby that's going to be in the car and a couple of little nephews and nieces. So uh, the, we're renting a 15 passenger van. So there's going to be a review on the 15 passenger van rental. But this is the, these DVD players actually hang on the seat. So we're going to split them in the row and one in one row and then the other in the other row. So this is the unboxing of it. And you know, I don't just do the unboxing. I'll put this in my, my van and then we'll start from there. So let me get this open right here. Walmart. I got it from Walmart and uh, it was a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars I didn't think was too bad but this was why me and my wife have to check it out man. Ah, it comes with a remote control. Okay. The USB cables to hook the two DVD players together. Two straps that go around the DVD players but this is what we wanted to check out. This is the power cord so we wanted to see the length of the power cord we had because we have to compare it to where we're going to be able to plug it into the cigarette lighters in the vehicles. So we might have to buy an extension cigarette lighter thing. Oh man, I just really tore that up right there. Because this is the length of the cord from the cigarette lighter. I venture to say that's maybe four feet length cord from the cigarette lighter. Okay, see what else it comes with. They sell adapters for this that you plug this into another one and it gets a little bit longer. So I'm probably going to have to buy that. Alright. Now here we go with the DVD players. Oh, wrapped in a little bag and then wrapped individually. And one is actually the DVD player and the other one is actually just the monitor. one this one is man these are super light okay this is where the straps go on Let me see right here. this one is not the DVD player this is where it just got the USB cord in it but these straps right here are velcro and they go through the back right here then they go around the, the seat in front of it. They go around the, the headrest of the seat in front of it. Then you can just tighten them down and they hang on the headrest of the seat in front of it. See, that's pretty awesome, huh? They have a little speaker on the front also so you do get the sound out of them. We'll see how this is too because our USB cord, we might have to buy a bigger one because the van seats, it's a 15 passenger van and we don't want, we actually don't want these side by side like it would be side by side like this watching them we want it front and back so we might actually have to get a longer USB cord also okay this one right here would be the DVD player and you can tell because this is a little bit thicker than the other one this is a little bit thicker than the other one it got not only the remote control got the buttons on the back to stop play start or whatever and try to see where DVD will go in. Uh -huh, let me see this. Push the button right here and the DVD goes right on there. Then you close it up and then it goes and then start playing. This is cool. This was made January 2018 so this one isn't old at all. But it got all the buttons right here but if it's on the headrest it'll be hard to see the buttons because they're just in black so you will need to use the remote control. So this is the other strap for this, but this one is a little bit heavier. And like I said, for the van that we're getting, we're renting one of those 15 passengers. So these monitors will be able to be side by side. They won't be able to be front and back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase a, probably a six foot USB cable and an extension for the uh, power supply. Now there's that one that goes on the thing right here. Because if they're sitting in vans, normally there's not a, uh, oh, if they're going to be in the, like, the first or second row of the van, the, it's a long stretch to get to the uh, power supply. 
So that's what I do have to invest in. The longer USB and the longer power supply. So that is the unboxing of the dual screen uh, RCA uh, DVD players for the van. Like I said, the power cord is probably about four feet and the USB cord is probably about three feet. The power cord will actually go into the fatter screen. Let's see where we're at. On the side of the fatter screen is where the power cord and the USB will go into. And actually there's a headphone port here on this one if you want to put the headphones on it. There's actually a headphone port. There's the power, there's a USB. Man, I can't turn my glasses off already. I can't even see what that thing says. There's a standby and on. So there's a standby and on. And then this goes to the plug. And then this one goes to the other side of the... And actually to get more length out of it you know you would have this on this side because if you put them on the opposite side the USBs are so and front and back that's why you would need a longer USB cord because if it's going to be on one seat and on the other seat this cord is going to be long hanging and this one right here will be the one closest to the cigarette lighter of course all right either way thanks for watching subscribe like share I'm going to attach to this probably or the next video of these using these things all right talk to you later bye bye all right, so here I am in the back of a 2016 Hyundai Sonata, and this is how they go on the back of the headrest. And what's pretty cool, now that headrest is up, so it seems like it hangs a little bit, but it's still within focus of the car seat. Okay, now these do are actually enough if you hang them on the right side. There's a lot of extra cord right here. And with the Sonata, the cigarette lighter is right in the back, so it fits perfect. I did put the batteries in the remote. Of course, that's the main unit right there. So I'm gonna put a movie in and uh, put it on but i really can't show you the movie because i want to get paid for my video so i'm pushing this to open the top of the dvd player and that's how it opens and then you grab your movie and you put your movie in the dvd player and close it all right there's a little switch here for on you put your dvd player on rca screens come up what and you can see them really good. I mean, yeah, I'm not in the direct sun, but you can see them really good. It says the disc is loading. So this is pretty cool. If you got little ones and you don't want to spend the big money to have it installed, installed, you could go ahead and get this. This was a hundred bucks. The sound sounds really good too. The car's not even closed and I can hear the sound already. Let me see. I just hit play on it right here. And then, all right. Let me lower that, this down for you can't hear the volume. Oh my God, I'm trying to wait to see if I could loud, get volume on it louder than what it is, but uh, I gotta go through all the previews. All right, sitting back here, I know, I mean, this isn't a Blu-ray high definition or nothing like that. Uh, I didn't find any volume at all on this. So I am gonna read the manual, but I don't think there's any volume. The only thing I think you could do probably is use the headphone jack, the aux cord, and even with the aux cord, you can put it into the freaking uh, car stereo and play it through the car stereo is what I'm thinking. And then this way they, they could see it and hear it better. But with the speakers, I mean, you have to physically kind of be sitting here and you hear it okay. You know, you hear a little bit from that when you hear it okay. But in a 15 passenger van and it's in the front and the kids in the back, I don't think it's going to be that good here that well. But I mean, they're for, for you, if you're going in your four five passenger car with your kids these are awesome 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 to have now on the sound quality a little bit i don't know if it's the disc or the player like every now and then you hear like a little just a little, little click a little glitch but it's one of those things that if you hear it and you're watching it you'll for, you'll forget about it but other than that i think it's worth a hundred bucks to for the little ones on the long car ride we're gonna have either way that's reviewing the rca dual screen dvd player for the cars all right talk to you later bye bye okay reading is fundamental there's no volume control on here but like i said the the one with the controls on it there it would see better on this the one with the controls on it i told you it had the controls across the top and the back that you cannot see there is a volume adjust volume up and volume down on that one right there so you can control the volume of these now to tell you the truth i can't tell you how loud it go but if you got a car and you got two or three kids in the back they will be able to watch them fine my thing is i gotta see in the 15 passenger van if we're gonna be able to do the same thing all right either way 
Hope it helped you out some with some insight worth a hundred bucks. I think so for the little ones. Talk to you later. Bye. -bye.